Hi guys, Tennis Squire here, day two of the 2015 Australian Open, and day one was full of upsets, especially on the women's side. And today so far it was pretty calm, but now Fognini lost, uh, and he started off the year slow in Hopman Cup. And Feliciano Lopez is 4-4 in the fifth set with Dennis Kudla. Townsend and Wozniacki are coming up, and Townsend's not going to be a cakewalk. So why is this happening? Why so many upsets? Well, a lot of the commentators are saying, well, it's the Australian Open, this is what happens. Uh, that's partially true, and it's the beginning of the year, and everybody's getting their footing, and that makes sense, and that that would be the slam where there'd be upsets, and plus the crazy conditions. I'll link my map to the Australian Open that I've made a couple of years ago and updated since with the new tennis center and everything, but on that map I have uh, details if you want to read it. Uh, it or just look at it, but, you know, the conditions, four seasons in a day, crazy climate conditions. So all this adds to, you know, uh, upsets that have happened at the Australian Open in the past. But there's something new happening now, and it's called brutal tennis, brutality. <laughs> I'm exa you know, I'm playing around here, but it's true. Uh, as the conditions, the ball surfaces had to slow down thanks to incredible racket technology and increasing skills of players and coaches and techniques and everything. You know, you don't want to have one hit tennis and you're done. We almost had that with Pete Sampras in the 90s and we were, you know, the tennis world was losing uh, viewership. Uh, so you would like the rallies. People love the Nadal Djokovic, six hour rallies and all that. But the end result was beat up bodies. Uh, especially on the women's side, but on the men's side as well. Everybody's beat up, so now how do you combat this? Well, the technology is getting a little quicker, the balls and surfaces to try to speed it up a bit and not have such crazy rallies to save the bodies, especially early in the year like this. The other thing, uh, the players are taking it into their own hands to you know, better schedule throughout the year. Now, the smaller players in the challenger circuit and everything, it's hard. I mean, they need to make their money. It's obvious, obviously easier for like Novak Djokovic and types like that to schedule better. But what they're doing in the beginning of the year is maybe in the off season, which is about a month long, maybe two months for the women, instead of working out, working out like crazy. I'm sure Wozniacki was still working hard, hard workers like that, and been rough in the hell. But I think some people are just backing off, saying, "Look, I'm going to relax by you know the, the pool or whatever. I need to rest my body." and recover and get ready for another long year. And even if that means I'm going to have a slow start, it's better than to have a great start. Like I remember a couple of years ago, Schiavone was on fire for a couple of years, and she had a brutal, absolutely brutal match with uh, Kuznetsova at the Australian Open a couple of years ago. And I don't think Schiavone ever recovered. I mean, it just killed that girl's body. And, I mean, I'm not sure, because most of us really recovered from it. So, uh, we know about Nadal Djokovic, they fed this, their struggles physically after all that. So, what happens now is, you take it easier in the off-season, there's two weeks of preps. You have Brisbane and some other tournaments the first week of January, and the second week of January, you have Sydney, women have Hobart, men have Auckland. I've never seen such a watered-down draw the second week. The first week was about normal, but the second week, boy, people aren't playing. They're just like, look, we need to we need to be careful, take it easy, play exhibitions. Exhibitions are going to get very big now. The Ku Young exhibition has been a famous one. Abu Dhabi to start the year. And throughout the year, I bet you're going to see the Boodles uh, right before Wimbledon. You're going to see more and more exhibitions. I think they're going to get bigger because they don't have the mental strain. And the mental and the physical is connected. They can't separate it like people think. Uh, and, and, and less mental strain is better for the body. Uh, and also, if you feel a little tweak here and there, you're not going to fight in an exhibition. You're going to say, I'm done. I'm going to get ready for the Australian Open. And then some people just go straight to Melbourne for like a week early and get ready. So what happens with this is you can lose. You're not as ready to go. And the depth of tennis is a big problem. Had this been 20 years ago, 15 years ago, it's probably fine to do this. Now... You know, Safarova, I, uh, who did she lose to? She got upset yesterday by a, a good player. Um, Shvedeva. Uh, Radeka upset uh, Ivanovic. These players, I, the normal fan may not know them. They're good. They've been around. Some of them are veterans. Some of them are up-and-comers. A girl named Bensik, who did so great at the U.S. Open last year, she actually wasn't on yesterday. But, I mean, she didn't play well yesterday. But, you know, Townsend is going to play today. I mean, maybe she's not ready to go. I'm not sure yet. I haven't checked her how she's been playing uh, so far this year. But the bottom line is you run the risk 
because almost everyone has a tough first round. There's hardly, I mean, Nadell was lucky Mikel Usney is not feeling it anymore. He may be close to retirement because normally he's a tough out. Uh, Dimitrov was lucky because Dustin Brown is a, health, is a Jekyll Hyde kind of guy, and he showed up on the bad side yesterday, so that was easy for Dimitrov. But had Brown been the other way around, where he, I've seen him play some great matches. He beat Nadell last year. It was on grass, but... You know, that could have been a whole different ball game for Dimitrov. So, you know, Lou wasn't that bad, I mean, against Federer yesterday. I mean, these guys are players who have done it in the past, and, and, and you run the risk. If you rest your body and you keep yourself healthy, the good news is, like Ivanovic's out now. She's going to be good to start the year as far as physically. She should be set to go get a little hit in, get ready for February, get, you know, get going. Um, but you do run the risk of getting knocked out early, and we're going to see more of this in years to come. We're going to see more of it this week, and we'll see more of it in years to come. That's my opinion. That's my prediction, I guess. And uh, it is what it is.